Hey guys, make sure you stand to the end. One common mistake people make when replacing fuses relays that can cost you thousands of dollars in repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to How to Repair Guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you guys having a Mercedes E-Class, that generation here known as Mercedes W212. This is the E-Class generation from year 2010 to year 2016. If you guys need to find where the rear USB fuse is located, if your rear USB ports do not work, always check that fuse first. We'll explain where you can find it, where you can guys buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way do not waste money in time and why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience make sure to stay until the end so before we start let us tell you a little bit about us guys now if you have a mercedes e-class that generation from year 2010 to year 2016 17 guys this is the w212 guys we're going to have a video for every single fuse relay on that car why things do not work why we're making this one because uh we're trying to save you time and money guys let's say you're down the road in the middle of nowhere your car does not start you need to find where your engine starter fuse relay is located guys where you can find fuel injection uh, system uh, fuses fuel pump fuses all you have to do come to the channel watch that video one two minutes you're back on the road guys in addition we'll share where you can buy cheap parts and tools that way you do not waste your money and time every single car we get here at the garage we try to make guys at least two to three hundred free repair videos we take them completely apart we show you how to fix mechanical electrical engine work guys bodywork a little bit of everything and we have more than 12,000 free repair videos on our channels that can save you thousands of dollars guys in free repair videos check it out if you need help with that so let's go ahead and start on it now so the rear usb fuses guys where you can expect to find them we'll demonstrate on that generation mercedes e-class here this guys is the pre-phase lifted version of that generation this is the face lifted version but that's the same generation so it should work for both now the trunk is where we need to go guys open the trunk and on the side you will have that cover if you pull that cover out underneath you'll find the main trunk fuse box with a layout that will look like this one here before we guys continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays so it is super important guys to always test fuses and relays and something else as well common mistakes people make sometimes you may think that a fuse is good or uh, uh, you cannot actually see if the fuse is clearly burned and in that case guys you may need uh, you may put the fuse back together uh, and you may end up spending money and time on parts you don't need and uh, all we had to do is just test the fuse so we'll put a link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse it takes only a few seconds to find out for sure if it's good or bad the same thing for relays guys okay uh, some of those could be really expensive on cars so we'll put a link in the description of the video below how you can test relays and for some certain fuses guys it's important to disconnect the car battery when removing them otherwise you can burn the electronics and uh, for instance working on airbags fuses or anything like that you need to wait at least one hour after disconnecting the car battery and if you're not qualified and certified to work on airbag system i will never recommend to do that guys uh, but when disconnecting the car battery guys okay common mistake people make it's important to know which battery terminal you disconnect reconnect first if you do it the wrong way you can burn electronics modules how we know about that we burn uh, before the uh, traction control module on bmw that cost is two thousand dollars guys so uh, we'll put link in the description of the video below which battery terminal to disconnect first check it out for your convenience so guys here for the rear usb we need to find just one fuse oh by the way if you guys need to buy any fuses relays parts tools for mercedes or any car at a really good price quick shipping we will put the links in the description of the video below check it out you can save a ton of money if we come here okay that cluster of pink fuses here guys next to every fuse you have a number that will indicate that fuse number for instance 74 that 75 okay and 76 that fuse right here that 15 amp fuse okay that's the one that you need to check for the rear usbs hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time